Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we've got some more Scarlet and Violet information to go over. We've got some Terrapa Ghost information, it's Dex number, everything like that. We've also got some stuff to do with uh, the DLC story, the leveling and everything like that. And we've got some predictions for 2024 by Riddler Coos. So, if you're going to enjoy this video, be sure to like, subscribe if you're brand new, and let's just jump right on into it. So, this is the first thing by Riddler Koo. He says, 2-2 two, two to the power of plus. Now, there basically means the plus means to the power of 10. Uh, if you didn't know your maths. Um, Soul Silver basically came over and covered it, but I can't seem to find it. And this is obviously, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I thought post how you'd side fit. And obviously, he says math. And then um, he says, I got it. This is sneaky. Now, obviously, um, Soul Silver does mention something about this which comes up with it um but i need to find it um quickly and then i can talk about it but basically it shows um all the information on um this thing and what it actually means um but i, I think he deleted it but it basically means it went to um, here for 1024. That's how the math worked. It was on uh, the coup stuff. It was 2-2 two, two to the power of 10. And it made it, uh, it added up to 2024, uh, no, to 1024. Which I believe, here it is here. It says that every 2 to the power of 10, which is a cantrip with cross means 10, then the Q is to the math is equal to 1024, which is obviously Tropicus Indigo Disc. Dex number, that's what we've been getting at. Obviously, so it's 2 2 at the power of 10, which is obviously 1024, which we're assuming is Trapagos's Dex number, which is obviously this is the predicted Dex number. Obviously, 1017 is Sinister, I believe, or Diplin. So 1018 will be our Chalodon, not our Chalodon, it's our Chalodon, by the way. And 1019 is the Diplin Evo that's supposedly happening. Um, 1020 is Raging Bolt. Uh, 1021 is Paradox Entei. Uh, 1022, Iron Crown. 1023, Paradox Terrakion. 1024, Trapagos. And 1025, um, Darko Taru. If Paradoxes are event exclusive and uh, not caught in the game, then that will make Trapagos to 1020. But I don't think so. I think it's still going to have a Dex entry. Same with Walking Wake and Iron Leaves. They will have a Dex entry in this DLC. Um, which I think is what's going to happen. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll have to wait and wait and see. Obviously, Doko Taro, it's not actually called Doko Taro, that's just the code name for it. Um, so it is actually going to be called something else, but we just call it Doko Taro. So that's just the code name for this mon. Um, so uh, yeah, we have that. Uh, that'll be the last one, because that's part of what give like a mythical or sub legendary. Uh, in the post game. Up next, um, this is from um, Cardinal who says, What level mons do you recommend bringing um, in the DLC? And Philly Beats, obviously, a guy who did have the um, the preview copy and uh, did play for a little bit, little bit says, You've got to be level 65 plus to enjoy wild Pokemon, level 80 plus to enjoy battles. So, obviously, when you're playing through the DLC, um, Obviously, I know a lot of people are just making a new team. I recommend just bringing your starter with you because that'll be level 100. And then, um, obviously, uh, basically just use that until you catch something else. That's what I'm doing. I'm using my Coridon for battling, um, my, my rideable Coridon and my Quackle Ball until I catch something else to replace it with. So obviously, do you keep that? In mind, level 65 to enjoy the wild Pokemon because they're probably about 60, and 80 to enjoy battles of trainers because they're probably about 75 to 80 as well. So do keep that in mind when playing through the DLC. Finally, this is the stuff from Riddler Q. He says 2024 prediction, and there's a photo obviously of um, uh, Kanto here, um, Johto, Unova and um paldea so obviously this is quite obvious what this means so what is 2024 going to be common sense is paldea 
obviously until November when the new game comes out. So we're going to be playing Paldea before the new game comes out. Um, Unova, again, could hint at black and white remakes, but it could also hint at the fact that um, Blueberry Academy is in Unova. So um, the Unova and Paldea thing basically could mean the same thing. Or it could mean black and white remakes or a Legends Unova. The only Kanto and Johto reference I'm assuming is we're going to get a remake of Johto, which I don't think it's going to be. I think it's going to be Let's Go Johto. As one of the comments says, uh, Johto, let's go. And Q has a little happy face, a uh, hearting happy face about it. Which makes sense because obviously the Kanto and Johto are next to each other. So um, we're not going to get a Kanto remake. It's too soon. We got one in 2017. Yes, it was six years ago. But I think if they're going to do something, it will be Let's Go Johto. So obviously the Kanto would mean Let's Go and then Johto on the right hand side. So that's one game, Let's Go Johto. And then the bottom is obviously Blueberry Academy in Paldea, which makes a lot of sense. I think that's probably what it means. As much as I'd like to see a black and white remake, I don't think it's going to happen this year because um, of how the pictures are laid out. Obviously, top row is Kanto Johto, obviously, Let's Go Johto. And with the Kanto meaning let's go, or just playing a game where you can go to both regions. And the bottom one, obviously, is uh, Unova Paldea, which obviously is Blueberry Academy, which is what we're going to be playing until the Let's Go Johto comes out. I'm pretty sure that's what it means. Or, again, as I said, it could mean we're getting Let's Go Johto and a Unova uh, game, or a Johto remake, which allows us to go into Kanto, and a Unova remake. And the Paldea is just until... There's games come out, but I don't think so. I think realistically, as much as it hurts me, I don't think we're getting black and white remakes. I think it's going to have to be Let's Go Johto or Legends Johto. And then the Unova Paldea is a hint at Blueberry Academy, which is what we're going to be playing until those top games come out. But uh, yeah, we'll have to wait and see uh, on Pokemon Day, which is, only few, which is only three months away. It's not actually that far. But uh, for now, I'm going to wrap up this video here. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe. If you are brand new, leave a comment with your thoughts and feelings on everything we covered in this video. That's it for me. Thanks so much for watching, and I shall see you all in a bit.